Well, the migrant caravan is fake. You've been watching CNN, so you know that. Look at this graphic, quote, invasion, unquote, then the word myth on the screen. It's a myth, a pernicious one, too. Is it actually a myth? Well, filmmaker Ami Horowitz decided to find out himself. He went to Mexico looking for this fake caravan. He found a real caravan, and he filmed it. Here's part of what he found. Despite the framing of the caravan as being full of women and children, the reality on the ground is quite different. Approximately 90 to 95 percent of the migrants were male. The major narrative being pushed by the press has been that the migrants are leaving Honduras because they are escaping extreme violence and that their lives are under constant threat, setting up the strategy that they would be able to enter the U.S. by asking for asylum. So I started by asking them a simple question. Why are you coming to America? Bueno, voy buscando una mejor vida económica. There's a massive logistical effort underway, akin to moving an army, and is clearly costing someone millions of dollars for the transportation, food, water, medicine, and services that are being provided for the members of the caravan. The Mexican government also seems to be sending police to escort the dozens of buses and trucks that are ferrying the migrants and supplies along the route to the next destination. Ever present among the thousands of migrants are workers of Pueblo Sin Fronteras, clad in black t-shirts and colored vests. Pueblo Sin Fronteras means people without borders. They are the ones that seem to be most involved in organizing and mobilizing this caravan. The organization, as the name implies, is looking to create a world without borders, which seems to be one of the reasons why they organized this caravan in the first place, to flout American sovereignty. While it does seem as the majority of these migrants are friendly and simply trying to make a better life for themselves and their families, there's an undeniable element of the migrants who are violent and dangerous. And many of the migrants know this and some have experienced it. It seems to me that there are leftist organizations that are using these migrants as a tool to push a certain political agenda which includes the weakening of American sovereignty and our border security. And unfortunately, these migrants are going to be caught in the crossfire. Ami Horowitz joins us tonight. That, wow, that was really interesting. The thing that jumped out at me was how, as you said, well organized it was. Do we have any sense who's paying for this? I know we're not allowed to speculate, but do we know that answer? We, we don't. We know, what we do know is this whole thing cost millions and millions of dollars. And, and the mainstream media, and, and there's so many layers to this onion to peel back, it's hard to know where to begin. But one of the lies, the fake news, if you will, that the mainstream media is trying to propagate is the fact that this is all this weird, this organic thing, and all the water and the food and the medicine all drop from mana from heaven. It's baloney. It's all highly organized. It's paid for by a number of organizations. We don't know exactly where the money is coming from. We do know that that uh, Pueblo of Sin Frontera, which is the, the main group which is organized this caravan, has a couple of front organizations in the United States. And the money is flowing from them to Pueblo Sin Fronteras. We know there are some leftist groups. I know it's, it's, it's forbidden to say that Soros is part of it. But Soros has, in fact, funded at least some of those groups in the past. So we don't know where the money is exactly coming from. We know it's not coming from Honduras. So why would, I mean, it's such an interesting and obvious question. Who's paying for this? Why haven't other news organizations gotten to the bottom of this? You're one man. You're doing this independently. Why isn't NBC News or ABC or PBS, why aren't they on this? Oh, come on. You know the answer to that. They don't want to get to the bottom of it. They have no, they have no interest politically in getting yeah. to the bottom of it. It's the same reason why they, whenever you see, when you see a photo in the New York Times, the Washington Post, or a video in, in CNN or the BBC or MSNBC, what do you see? You see the, whole, the, the entire framing are women and children, when the reality is so far from the truth. 90 to 95 percent of all the people in this caravan are men, although I do apologize for assuming their gender. They're liars. That's, that's the answer. That's why they're not reporting it in New York, because they are liars. I mean, thank you for that. That was valuable and really interesting. I appreciate it. My pleasure. It.